so here is the mango seed and this is how it looks like after a few days. We dried it just for a few days and this is how it looks. So here is the hole um, that, and my dad already uh, just cut it open a little. And so, and so now I'm going to open it. Help. All right, now I'm gonna open it. So just from here, just, it'll be a pretty hard, but just open it. Cause once you're done, then you get to actually see the real seed. Whoa, and here it is. Look at this it. This is the seed, whoa. <laughs> Looks so cool. Whoa. Yeah, this is really hard. All right, just open your seat. Whoa! Look at the mango seed. I never knew it looked like this. Look at it. So this is another seed, and if you find any black layer like this, make sure to peel the black skin off your mango seed as I'm showing in the clipping. So just peel the black skin off. From your inner seed, after peeling the black skin, your seed should look like this. So this is how the seed looks like after you peel all of the black skin. This is the seed and how it looks like. Get a paper towel and make sure it's a bit wet. Not too much wet, just a little wet and moist at the same time. So now what we're going to do is get your mango seed and then just put it in. So make sure your paper towel is not too wet. It should just be moist. And now, the next thing we need to do is cover your seed with the paper towel. So once you're done with that, then put it in a little Ziploc bag and write the date on it. So I'm just gonna put it in my Ziploc bag. Put it in a dark, shady area. So these are packets with the mango seeds. And we have waited one week. We did this, we put the mango seeds in these Ziplocs one week ago, and we waited one week. And look, it sprouted a little. See, it just started sprouting. And so here it is, it started sprouting a little. So I think after one week, you'll be ready to put in the soil. And now let's check the other mango seed and see how that one felt. So let's open the little zip lock. And see it. Look, it actually started sprouting a little. Uh, just a little bit over here. And then soon I'll grow a bit more and then I think I'll be ready to put in the soil. So let's just put this aside. So I put them back in the Ziploc bags and we'll wait for one week and we'll check on the week two progress of how they sprouted. So these are um, two week old mango seeds. They're so now we're gonna see how far they've grown so far. And look, this is the mango seed. And it sprouted. Look, it sprouted over here. So I think I'll be ready to put in the soil now. So let's check this one too. So let's check this one too. This is the two week progress and a lot of roots have grown. So I think this one is very ready to put in the soil. So we're gonna put this one in the soil soon. Let's go. Okay, it's time to put the mango seed in the soil. 
So let's just put it in. And we want to cover only the seed. We don't want to cover um, this main part in the seed. This part. We won't want to cover that. Okay, so now we're gonna plant the mango seed. So completely cover all of the parts of the mango seed except for this one part. Make sure that one part is open because that's where the leaves will start growing from. So cover all of the mango seed. Okay, so last but not least, we just have to water the plant. Okay, so I've covered the mango seed. I've covered the mango seed completely with the soil, and we just need to show this one part of the mango seed. And there, the the mango seed will start sprouting, and then the leaves will start growing. So now we're going to water it. Just so, just gently water it. We don't really want to overwater it, or then the plant will die. So I'm watering it here. Just water it very slightly and gently. There, that should be enough water. So now we're going to cover it with a good Ziploc bag. pot with this bag covering this to um for the plant to contain humidity it's like a little mini greenhouse so if your bag was a bit loose and it was going away then i've used these clips to secure it on so that it won't fly away whenever it's on windy days so we're, so now we're going to wait for a few weeks and then we'll see how it grew. So, and just remember to put it in a shady, sunny area.